Hello again YouTube, back again with another update video. This time it's the iOS 10 Developer Beta 4 finally released. So let's jump in and take a look at what's changed and what is new on the iPhone 5 version. The update weighs in at just around 293.7 megabytes. And it doesn't really took that long and the first of all is the new emoji. So let's take a look at the old one first. It kind of looks like this. Let's just see this one, like the smiling, the grinning emoji one. Let's take a look at the new one. As you can see right there, it's a lot more colorful. I think the color depth is a lot better. And also there's uh, some kind of a shadow to it. So. It looks more 3D-ish, you know, if you know what I mean. And there's also some new emojis as well, like these uh, girls, and then there's added the one with the guy emoji, and then also they changed the uh, the gun emoji right now, so they become a water gun, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there you go, see? Now it is a water gun rather than a real gun so yeah that's that and there is also a rainbow flag LGBT flag but I can't seem to find it somewhere but yeah you get the idea okay so that there's that and also in the keyboard section you will find a new sound for the keyboard so this is the regular tap to with the words This is the sound for the backspace. For shift and symbols key. Yeah, definitely a very nice improvement. So now you can actually know what keys are you pressing which is pretty damn good next change is that a notification finally you get a date here why they don't think of this earlier so yeah it is a lot better now you can actually see what's the date and what day it is because previous one I always look at these widget to know what day it is so yeah a really nice welcome addition but it doesn't show up here it only shows up in the notification area which is alright also let's jump into the photos so this is the photo if you see previously in my videos if you click the details it will crash but now hey look at that they actually fixed it so the swipe up gesture is also fixed because that is apparently goes to details which is pretty damn good finally thank you Apple for fixing this stuff okay uh, next stuff is that upon updating the first time you pull out the control center it will prompt you with this kind of information so a new user updating to iOS 10 now finally know what is going on with the new control center which is pretty damn good and also here, if you see the new control center, there is a slight change that AirPlay now says AirPlay mirroring. And there's that. Pretty good. Uh, let's go to messages. As you can see right here, let's try to use the sketch now. Usually it has a text on top of it, but now it changes to different modes. But if you press on it, it will say everything that you need to know about this digital touch function here which is pretty nice so you can as always like the heartbeat and then the text like that so on and so forth which is a nice welcome addition okay so next up is on HomeKit if you get started right here a previous version if you want to edit this home you have to do it from 
this part but now you can actually edit it straight away from here which is pretty guys also in health now slight change as well previously this text used to be in the bottom right here but now it's on the top a lot bigger and also there you go a lot more recommended apps nowadays pretty good and also let's jump into the settings as you can see in general and about as 10 capacity gone down a little bit previously it was 13.1 gigabytes so it lost a few megabytes which is not really the best but eh, it still performs really well ha usually this says hand off and suggested apps now it just says hand off uh, new changes right there and also let's see another one is in privacy diagnostic and usage and there's no now the new improved wheelchair mode which is pretty good if you are disabled on things like that let's go to messages now the previous version there used to be a section where the video part so you can set expire after what minute I think now it's just combined into with this audio messages so yeah there's that that's change also going to maps now it used to be like a ride sharing app there but now it just says driving walking and transit so they change a little bit on that and if you notice here animation is a lot faster now and also you don't have to wait for the animation to finish before you can close the app so you can now just do this you can even do it do it very quickly like that which is pretty good because now it feels much more snap here okay let's go to music now not much has changed but what changes is that the animation here it's not choppy like before before it was just like pop 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 like that but now it's very smooth liking it yeah and also like animation right here it's a lot smoother now see it appears but very smooth pretty damn good thanks Apple for fixing that and also in phone let's see the contacts see the test contact right here if you notice it slightly the word there got a little bit thinner previously it's a bit fat so now it's a little bit thinner so previously it was bold now it is thinner also the last part is that folder anima anima animation is a lot quicker pretty good they're, they're really speeding up the animation speed right here which is pretty good makes your device feels faster so yeah that's about it for this new beta 4 update uh, it performs pretty well for especially for an iPhone 5 here and yeah it's not really a shabby update and battery life is pretty much still the same as the previous betas pretty good so yeah as usual uh, like comment and subscribe so be sure to check into my videos previous or maybe upcoming videos about technology and updates on iPhones or Android so yeah thanks a lot and have a nice day